hello guys how are you i hope so you all will be doing good so today's lecture is about the biological and pharmaceutical application of carbohydrate carbohydrate we may say sugars and the application referred to some kind of importance you may say is like that so we will discuss about these today and as it is included in farm d course so i have written in here that pharmacy so you may say this topic is included in form d course so i'm going to talk about this today so we are going to discuss about first that biological importance of carbohydrate or application of carbohydrate that what are the biological importance of carbohydrate so the very first point is that source of energy so you know carbohydrate is a source of energy and uh, we must take energy from sugar or you may say whenever we feel for energy so we take some sweet things that contain sugar so we feel a bit more energetic so carbohydrate provide energy and regulation of blood glucose blood glucose blood glucose refer to when you when your blood glucose lab level is too low we feel tired and uh, you may say a lazy or uh, yawning or every time so carbohydrate or you may say a glucose packets are available in the market so if we take that glucose packet we feel a bit energetic or you may say we feel a bit lazyless so that is because our blood glucose level is maintained or if you are studying so some how people say that uh, we when we start to study then uh, after a half an hour or half an hour so we feel a bit dizzy so I suggest that you should use blood glucose I mean you should use a blood uh, I mean that you should use uh, glucose packets or you may say that these are available in my pocket so you may take it and you will feel a bit uh, energetic to have more duration of study this was about the source of energy and breakdown of protein for energy and this is an amazing importance of carbohydrate that uh, it prevent the breakdown of protein for energy so you know that the very first source of energy is carbohydrate then after it it comes to protein that proteins are the source of energy and after that we use our fats stored in our body these come for energy boost so if we have enough carbohydrate level or you may say enough carbohydrate so the protein breakdown will be prevented or you may say that there will be no breakdown of protein for energy as we have enough source of carbohydrate for energy boost so this was a another application or importance of carbohydrate Component of DNA and RNA that's so simple that carbohydrate form a part of genetic material like DNA and RNA in the form of deoxyribose and ribose sugars. If you are a medical student, so I hope so you will know about this too. And these are very simple to discuss, so I'm not going detail. So let's have our let's have our another points. as it is continued so body mass that is another application or you may say importance of carbohydrate that they help make up the body mass by being included in all parts of the cell and tissue as carbohydrate is needed by all cells or in tissue of the body so eating it helps to make a body mass we can say that carbohydrate or sugar can build up or body mass by boosting energy or by providing the energy to the cell and tissues and sweetness of food are you may say this is the best part of carbohydrate as we ever feel a bit bitter so we take this sweetness of carbohydrate or you may say sugar so it provides sweetness to the food this is a really important one uh, and you should not you should not miss it and have a sweet okay
a sweet sort of thing in your mouth. Plant cell wall. Pectin and hemicellulose are the structured carbohydrate in the plant cell wall as it is not only concerned about human or human, so it is also related to plant. It is not away from it, okay? And it is still continued that what are the importance of biology or biological importance of carbohydrate. So bacterial cell wall, murin, that is a structural part of bacterial cell is a carbohydrate in nature. That is also another importance. Other applications are also available that you may include in your mind or you may put into your mind that carbohydrate also help with the fat metabolism. It help in the fat metabolism and hyaluronic acid found in between joint acid as synovial fluid and it provide a fractionless movement or you mean you will not feel a fraction in your movements if you, you have enough sugar in your or you may say enough carbohydrate in your body or in between the joints and agar is a policy carrot used in cultural media like that and food uh, that is uh, another carbohydrate which is used as uh, cultural media and like that and food it is also used in some other purposes for some other purposes too so we should not go in detail because we will go away from our own topic then so now we are going to discuss about the pharmaceutical application of carbohydrate then what are the pharmaceutical application of carbohydrates so it is pretty much simple many students are confused that what will be the conf pharmaceutical application of carbohydrates so it's very simple so we will first discuss about starch as starch is a sugar or may say carbohydrate so starch will have a bit you know uh, an explanation of our starch so starch is a polysaccharide carbohydrate consisting of many glucose units uh, you must remember that because it is consists of many glucose units joined together by glycosidic bond that is the bond present between the carbohydrate units so starch is also produced by all green plant as energy store that's a pretty much simple point so as starch is concerned so in pharmacy or pharmaceutical area or industry it is used as an exception excipient starch is used as an excipient primarily in oral solid dosage formulation you will study later on if you are still in first year of PharmD so where it is uti utilized as a binder diluent and disintegrants disintegrants will be discussed later on and diluent is a simple like you may say an additional excipient so it is not much complicated I mean binder it is clear to us that what is binder as volume adjustment oh that is important point of starch in pharmaceutical industry in so starch is used as a dry filled capsule formulation to get the volume adjustment to fill the matrix now that is really important because uh, we can not only give the active ingredient present in the crude form or you may say uh, in the in a drug so we cannot give only that because uh, it cannot remain stable then so we have to give some excipient or you may say uh, a starch to have a filled form of capsule and that will be then easy to engulf too because of some sort of uh, relief from bitter bitter sweet, uh, bitter and you may say taste so as it is continued so it is used as a tablet disintegrants that Sugar is one of the most used as tablet disintegrants in concentration of 3 to 15 percent weight by weight. It is used as a tablet disintegration, so at a concentration of 3 to 15 percent 
um, it must be noted and weight by weight is simple and as a medical student you must know about weight by weight uh, it is um, teached uh, it is taught in low level of classes as a binder binder I will also discuss a, about that you may know binder what is binder so in formulation or freshly prepared star starch based in concentration of 5 to 35 percent weight by weight is used as tablet granulation as binder a pretty much simple granulation mean that uh, in making it to fragments and is used as a binder and then what after comes so it is a cellulo cellulose it is also a carbohydrate so it is used as diluent and capsule filler as diluent and capsule filler porocellulose is used as tablet diluent and gelatin capsule filler filler as we have discussed that it is important part of making a capsule because we cannot give only an active ingredient in a medicine so we must have to fill it with a with, with some with, uh, with some excipient to have and proper shape and proper way of administration carboxymethyl cellulose it is a cellulose that is used in industries carboxymethyl cellulose is used as suspending or viscosity enhancing agent in oral and topical pharmaceutical formulations suspension or suspending and viscosity enhancing viscosity enhancing is simple that to increase viscosity of oral and topical pharmaceutical formulation we use carboxymethyl cellulose as it is continued so hydroxypropyl cellulose it is a cellulose that in oral formulation hydroxypropyl cellulose is primarily used is in as tablet binder film coating it's a type of coating done on tablets and is extended release former uh, you will know later on if you come to a higher classes in pharmaceutical chemistry concentration of hydroxypropyl cellulose is that is that must be two to six percent weight by weight may be used as binder either in wet granulation or dry granulation it is an important point to mention in our paper or you may say in our exams that cellulose of two to six percent weight by weight may be used as binder either in wet granulation or dry granulation hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose it is another cellulose that is used in pharmaceutical industry industries so hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose cellulose is used as polymer for preparation of sustained release dosage form sustained release dosage form means that we should have a sustained release sustained means that like as uh, without interruption of the release of dosage form into the respective site of the body well that was about my all video so first of all thank you for watching my video and then keep subscribing and tell to your friend too for subscribing and well this is a heart from myself from my side take it Thank you. Love.